Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the action. In the previous videos, we have discussed about uh, the basics of action, like what is action and what are the types of action we have. We have already discussed about navigation action and the uh, that is the action which we usually do it in the processing. Okay, and in now today's video, we are going to discuss about the creation action. <music> So here you can see this is my github page where you can see the complete source code that is a code which i've been using uh, in the video okay this is for your reference and uh, this is my blog uh, where you can find the written step-by-step uh, uh, -step instructions for doing everything in your uh, uh, for in your bc so i'll be discussing uh, everything and i'll be adding in the blog every uh, twice or thrice a month so you can find it here so please follow my blog you can just cl simply click here follow to follow my blog and this is my youtube playlist where you can find uh, the complete uh, de detail about uh, the basics right from the basic and towards i'm just going towards the advanced one so here you can find the basics of uh, a learning path what is a business central and what is uh, page table and everything so i'll be uploading it everything here so with no wait let us directly go to the action so this is the previous action which we have we have already discussed and written so we have written the content action okay that is the uh, action uh, sorry this is uh, we have already discussed about the processing action which we have uh, how it will be displayed and also we have discussed about the navigation action so to precise i'll just tell you like uh, one is the action menu if you want to something display on the action menu we'll be uh, we'll be writing it in the processing okay in the processing block so this is the processing block where inside the action in the area you can specify in which block you have to write it and i have already dis discussed about all these things okay what is this what is interest calculations and everything okay and now in the today's section we are going to talk about the creation action so creation action anyhow we are going to write it inside the action block this is the action block and uh, outside the area okay that is the area processing is closed here and the navigation is closed here and here i'm going to write the uh, creation action so this is like a new document creation action so if you want to display as a top level menu in the action bar and as a sub menu in the actions menu so we used to open a new document within the dynamics itself so for that you have to use the action creation okay it's like for example you can think like creating a new sales invoice so you can use the creation action to create a new document there okay so let us start writing it so i'm just typing area so once you type area and if you press control and space you can see what are all the actions which you can create it we are going to create a new action so i'm just creating area creation and under that if you wanted to add anything like for example i'm just adding i want it as a new document okay so whatever the name you wanted to write it here you can write it because since it is the name which you wanted to display it on the bc page so you can write it or else if you wanted to specifically name okay you can write it as well so let us just directly go inside the block so inside the block you're going to write application area is equal to all this is as usual and i'm just going to use run object because what object you're going to execute objects like page or table or code unit so whatever you wanted to write you can just write it run object and if you press control space you it will show up like what all the object is possible with this action code unit page query report table and xml port so now we are going to just execute the page because we, i just wanted to open a new action new uh, page to add something and i'm going to write the customer card so it's not showing any uh, anything so i'm just using going to use customer card so customer card is the action this is the uh, name of that particular uh, uh, page okay so that is why i have used the page here and then uh, let us just execute it okay and see uh, i'm not going to uh, uh, do much more than this let us save this okay and let us execute this let us see what is happening what is going to happen so if you use that um uh, this this page specific page number okay the specific page number in the action so this is 50102 and you have to write it here 50102 then you can get it here 
okay and if you click on the action you can see that new document this is what we have written here okay new document so whatever you are writing it here in the new document that is whatever you are writing it here inside this action the name will appear for example if you want to write create customer new customer okay if you want to rechange it to new customer then you can see that new customer will be here if you click on this you can see the new document okay if you click here new document it will open the customer card page okay you can just edit it if you wanted to add a new create a query so you can just make it you can create a new one here okay this is blank okay you can just uh, type something here and create a document okay you can just make it as a new document here so since i have create i have called the customer card which is already there that is why it is showing if you wanted to show up whatever the document uh, the page document which you wanted to show it here you can write it okay and one thing you can notice it was uh, that is you can notice that see if i click here it is not showing anything okay it's not showing any image or something if you wanted to show up the image for example if some image should be shown in before uh the uh, what is called what do you call like a action link okay so i'm just making it as a customer new customer okay um and if you wanted to display some image to that then you can call the property called image and if you just press control and space it will show what is the image you want see if you select this it will show the image like this okay if you select this eight ball what image you want to show okay you can just display that okay so i'm just going to select something called okay so this is all the okay worksheet image this is whatever image you wanted to show so this is a payment image okay if you want to uh, tell that this is a payment image or post or something okay i'm just clicking this okay and uh, ending it with a, a semicolon then just save it and again i'm just executing is pressing control and f9 to execute the new change to show up the new changes let us wait and see okay so here if you click in the new document you can see that that icon that image is added up here okay this is an another new property which you can use it for that particular um, action so this is this code we have already uh, created so that is why it is showing calculate interest so this calculate interest is what we have created here in the previous video you can go and check that as well and i have explained everything about this uh, um, trigger what are the trigger we have added and how it is executing and how you have to use this everything i have added it here hope you find this video useful thank you take care bye bye